the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello everyone, welcome back to Reality Latest Gist, the headlines. The People Democratic Party candidate in Edo State, Dr. Asui Hodalo, has reassured the indigent in Germany, telling them that he's going to make Edo the first word subnational. Hey, my photo be small, but. Uh, but then after this, we have Edo State Edas drum support for Mondo Bubolo. But guys, before I go bring the matter, I'd like to welcome you to my wonderful channel, Reality Latest GC, your home of news and politics. If today is your first time to join this wonderful channel, can you subscribe, like, comment, share? But don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. So, guys, let's proceed. My people, it's yet another great acting for Asi Hodalo, the People Democratic Party candidate, in the September 21st Golanship election in Edo State on Friday night in Hamburg, Germany, in continuation of his engagement with Edo diaspora in Europe. A meeting with his people in Germany, Asi Hodalo retaliated his determination, saying that he's going to work together with his running mate, Barrister Saradio Oge to make Edo State the first world subnational in Nigeria. The engagement with Edo Diaspora Committee in Europe ahead of the September election, my people, it has taken Asi Hodalo to Brigio Emilia, Italy, Manchester and London in the UK. So it's going to end on Saturday night with a similar engagement in Europe. So speaking on Friday night in Hamburg, Germany, Asi Hodalo assured his audience in a packed hall that his vision is to build on what the previous administration in the state has done and he's going to take Edo State where Edo State is supposed to be and he's also going to create a pathway of prosperity for all of them. My people, that is what was written in his manifesto which has been unveiled earlier this week. Asi Hodalo told his people in Germany that this is the time for them to know who they are in Edo State because the state has produced so many famous individuals in the past. And they have watched their names in national history. So right now, Indo Golayo said the last eight years don't witness some good development. So he's going to build on them. And <laughs> he can't go back to the past. Say if it happened that he's going to be ashamed of each and every one of them in this hall. Because he's not a spokesperson for the administration of Governor Godwin Obaseke. But he can tell everyone that the administration has moved Edo State from where it used to be. So as it stands now, the only thing we feel do now to move a door forward and not to seek to go back because a door state has changed. So it is time to solidify the reform that Governor Godwin Obaseki administration has achieved and he will work tirelessly to make a door state the first world subnational in Nigeria. So it is clear in their mind between him and OJ that they are going to walk through the pathway to prosperity for all a door states so they can achieve it. Because the tax they have set before themselves is to ensure a do state is secure. So before the conversation on state police is concluded, that they will make do with what they have. So how do people live with that law and order? That we all can see impunity everywhere in the country. But no, they must set the pace in a do state. Because there must be high regard for law and order. So if voted into power, he said that his administration will work assiduously to address the major five pillars of his pathway to prosperity for all. One, they are going to ensure that the vision is realized. So he assured the people of Germany that him and OJ are going to provide good governance, that they are going to be accessible, they are going to be accountable, and they will be transparent in all they do. That if the rest of Nigeria doesn't want to change, they don't want to change, Abuja won't help them. So if they have to help themselves, the Edo State has no reason whatsoever not to be in the league of a first world subnational in Nigeria. So they have people all over the world who can make it happen. They make it a verse for some people, especially those where they use that slogan, homeboy. As Iwodalo said, it makes no sense because Edo is blessed with people all over the world doing great things. So to say that they can only indicate willingness to contribute positively to the growth of the state if only they live all their life in the community. And it makes no sense. So during the question and answer session, Asi Hodalo said that he will only fear God and work for the best interests of the Edo people. Because security is number one thing, their number one priority. So they must make Edo state attractive. 
So concerning the issue of artifacts, as you have declared that they are going back to the palace, that their question is a good one. Because as a lawyer, he knows that if his goods were stolen, that no matter how long it takes them to find the goods, any day they find it, it belongs to them. So the issue of artifacts is simple, that they were looted from the palace and sold to the palace. They must go back to Besides, President Mohamed Buhari said to the issue through a declaration before he left office. My people, in a significant contribution of that night meeting as a Hodalo engaged in Germany, <laughs> his wife, if you were a Hodalo, don't come out compromise to people of Edo State saying that she will personally hold her husband accountable for all the promises he has made to the people particularly this one will concern the women the youth and the children that in go holy husband accountable why it will be small water so my people may will see how this election one take go may will know who will be the winner because all these promises will be said they don't they promise they do people i hope they manifest it too if they come into power so guys let me know your thoughts your contributions opinions are in the comment section i would love to hear from you moving on to the next one my people, a group of Edo State Political Leader Forum has drawn support for the All Progressive Congress candidate Mondo Bobolo in Edo State as part of the move to actualize his gubernatorial agenda. The group who met in Aochi, Edo North, Senatorial District, said that their support for Mondo Bobolo was based on his good character because he has many qualities that separate him from other candidates especially his vision his courage his character his loyalty and sincerity so he will change the right course and provide a clear focus for where the people and the state want to be including how to get there so at the meeting to perfect strategy towards ensuring the marriage of bolo as the next governor of Edo states the leader said that mondo Obolo remained the best for the states so they want a governor that can unite the people provide security and good roads throughout the states. So Mondo Bobolo will not step on their toes of Edo people. He will fast track development in all the communities and he's going to embark on large housing development for low income earners. He's going to create the noble environment for investors within and outside to invest in Edo state to create more job opportunities for the people. The leader of the Eda Forum, Kenneth Duncomat, can urge the indigenous at home and abroad Say, may they think about their future and the future of the states. So, may they reject the People Democratic Party for contributing to the state diversity. Because APC is building a critical alliance with the various communities and they are dialoguing with major players in the country. They are also talking with opinion leaders, influencers in Edo State and Edo Indigenous abroad. So, they are in touch with traditional rulers, market women, youth leaders, and professionals. Because Mondo Bobolo will win the September governorship election. <laughs> they described the APC candidate for the Bobolo as a good leader. Not only that, though, that he is a competent administrator and he is one of the most influential com uniting figures in Nigeria history. So, the way that they then see Mondo Bobolo, they say he symbolizes the very best and he's going to boost the tourism sector, he's going to provide for the well being of the people deepen the mechanics of governance and service delivery in the state. So they praised the APC governorship candidate Bodo Bobolo for his exceptional qualities, impeccable honesty, competency, and humble lifestyle. They also praised him for having the type of empathy and direction the state needs. So with all these praises, which means Mondo Bobolo is well known for his innovative ideas and clean image. The head has already talked in that Mondo Bobolo they want because he's done to it. And he has a clear sighted about issues facing Edo State. My people don't be small hype, don't be small about oh, This is a governorship election. Hey, he go hot. So I go like the waiting I think about this matter in the comment section. Relate your thoughts, your opinion, your contributions in the comment section below. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us.